Measures of Dispersion Variance and Standard Deviation To find the mean is one of the first calculations you learn in statistics, but it doesn't give us a full picture of the set of data. Standard deviation talks about the distance between each piece of data and the mean. To calculate the standard deviation, we use the following formula, and it finds the sum of the difference between the mark and the mean. Remember, x bars the mean, but we add all of those together, and they've been squared as we've been adding them together. We divide them by the number of data values, and because we squared it, we need to square root it, that is, the standard deviation. To do this manually takes a lot of time, but luckily, with a few pushes of some buttons on a scientific calculator, we're able to find it quite easily. And you'll notice that a lot of questions ask you to do the working on your calculator, so it's important that you know your calculator steps. Let's go through it using the Casio FX82ZA Plus calculator. The first thing you need to do is press Mode and then select Stat by pressing 2. Next, press 1 to select 1VAR for Variance and Standard Deviation. I'm going to enter a list of data. Enter the first term, which is 4, and then press Equals. 5 equals, 6 equals, 7 equals, 8 equals. So you've entered 5 sets of data. If I look at that set of data, I know that the average of that set of data is going to be the number 6. But let's see how standard deviation will work. Once all of the data is entered, I'm going to press AC. And don't panic, the data is still there, it's just stored within the calculator. Now I press SHIFT and 1 and select option 4. Standard deviation is going to be option 3. And press equals. And the standard deviation from the mean is 1.4 followed by a few decimal places.